which will work better in my DIY impact and vibration test rig. A plain hex nut and split lock washer or nylon lock nut and split lock washer. In a previous video, the plain hex nut and split lock washer did not perform well in my DIY test rig. But in this video, I added a simple twist that made a tremendous improvement. First to be tested was a Nylock Plus split lock washer that was requested by many viewers. The nut was torqued to 6 foot pounds and the nut, bolt, lock washer and flange bushings were marked with paint. The low and unfavorable 6 foot pounds of torque was used because the plain nut consistently failed in under 15 seconds in my test rig. Any improvement over 15 seconds would be due to the locking device doing its job. My sophisticated reciprocating saw was used again, with the speed set to 1. After 1 minute, no movement of the jig components was seen. Then, I forgot to press the record button, but after 3 minutes, still no noticeable movement. After 6 minutes, still no movement. Finally, after 10 minutes, the top flange moved, but the rest of the jig components still showed no movement. Test 2 After 5 minutes, the top and bottom flanges moved, but none of the other jig components. After 10 minutes, the top and bottom flanges didn't seem to have moved any further as well as the rest of the jig components. The nylock split lock washer and bolt still held tight to the flange to bushings. Test 3 After 5 minutes, the split lock washer and top and bottom flanges moved, but the nylock did not move on the bolt. And at about the 7 minutes and 40 seconds mark, my reciprocating saw adapter broke after months of abuse. Bummer. I ordered replacement adapters and continued the test a few days later. After a total of 10 minutes, the bolt, nylock, and split lock washer didn't seem to have moved any further. Again, the nylock, split lock washer, and bolt still held tight to the flange bushings. By the way, the test jig is made up of two flange bushings clamped together by a 3.8 16 TPI bolt and various nuts and locking products. I plan to test these in the future. Now to the plain nut and split lock washer. Torque to the same unfavorable 6 foot pounds and marked with paint. After one minute, the bolt rotated slightly, but the nut and split lock washer held together. After three minutes, the nut and split lock washer rotated slightly. After 6 minutes, no noticeable change. At about the 8 minute 30 seconds mark, 
the noise changed, which was the result of the nut finally spinning loose. This was much better than my earlier test where two of the three test samples came loose in under two and a half minutes. Can you guess what I did differently? Test two. After three minutes, it looked like all the components moved very slightly. After six minutes, the bolt, nut, and split lock washer did not seem to have moved further. After 10 minutes, the bolt rotated slightly, but the nut and split lock washer stayed together and held tightly to the flange bushings. Not bad. Did you guess yet? And no, I did not use thread locker or super glue. Test 3. After 3 minutes, it looked like all the components again moved very slightly. After 6 minutes, the bolt, nut, and split lock washer did not seem to have moved much further. After 10 minutes, like in test 2, the bolt had rotated slightly, but the nut and split lock washer stayed together and held tightly to the flange bushings. What was your guess? Was it adding a split lock washer under the bolt head? One split lock washer held the nut to the flange bushing, and the other split lock washer locked the bolt to the other flange bushing. But the nylock plus split lock washer still performed more consistently than the plain nut and two split lock washers.